Okay, hello, welcome, welcome. Uh, we appreciate you all being here with us today. I know it's a very trying time for everyone uh, around the globe, but it's uh, it's a real, it's a good day. It's a good day because we have finally come up with a solution. Uh, we have come up with a, a way to get around this invisible enemy that we're all dealing with. So what we would like everybody to do is is simple. Go and find a sharp object. Find a sharp object. Uh, anything will do. Anything that's sharp. Anything that looks painful. Take it and stab it right into your eye. And if you do indeed do this, uh, you will be cured from the problem going around right now. And we can all get back to our daily lives. I cannot tell you the amount of hours and the amount of money. So many hours. So much money has, has gone into this research. So I promise you. Sharp thing. Pow. Right in your eye. And uh, you will, you will, you will be over this. Come on. Any questions? Yes. What the flub are you talking about? All right. So look, yesterday we had a little bit of a snafu. We had a little bit of a snafu. Uh, please disregard everything we said 24 hours ago. Look, it's a, it's a, it's a work in progress. It's an evolving problem. It's a progressing problem. But we're doing what we can, and thankfully we have now come up with a solution that we will implore everybody uh, to do right now, as soon as you hear this message. Um, leave your house. Find some water or sea, sea or water is fine, and swim out into the sea and start a new life in the sea. And we figure that once you are in the sea and you are in the water, this problem will, will disappear. So again, please go and find your nearest water, swim out into it, and start a new life in the sea. Questions? Yes. Just a quick one. Are you mad? All right, it's Wednesday. Look, it's a good day Wednesday. It's hump day. <laughs> it's like your ass. But it means we're closer to the weekend. And also, unfortunate news, please ignore everything I said on Monday and Tuesday. We, we tried it and realized that if people were just going to swim out into the sea, they just suffered in the sea as opposed to suffered at home. Look, it doesn't matter. Because we have now, again, after countless more hours and countless more research, I'm not sleeping anymore. I am not sleeping anymore. We have figured it out. So what we are going to implore everyone to do is grab hold of your arm and rip it off. Use enough force so it comes away from your body like you're a Lego man. And then take it and just smash it into your head for a while. And we think uh, after a few thwacks, you will be cured. You will, you will be better. It's, some people will take three thwacks. Some people will take 12 thwacks. But you just have to give yourself some thwacks. So please, if everyone can do that now, that would be great. No questions. All right, it's Thursday. Thank you again for joining me. I appreciate it. Yes, Mondays, Tuesdays, and Wednesdays plans have not been successful. Disregard all information, but we figured it out. What we did is we went to uh, like a, a mystical person, someone that reads palms, and they told us that the, the way to get over this is if we go get a cushion. Doesn't matter what kind of cushion it is, any cushion will do. Sit on the cushion and just shout out, heal me, heal me. And then some magical wizard will appear and he'll go and he will cure you of whatever that ails you. Any, and then we can just move on and we can forget about this. So sit on the cushion, heal me, heal me, just twice, not once, not three times. Magical wizard, everything is fine. Right, any questions? Yes. Is the wizard Gandalf? No, it's not Gandalf. Hello, welcome to Thursday's briefing. Again, there, there is, there's no magical wizard. We, we thought it was, turns out I fell asleep and I had a dream. So what we've done instead is we thought history, the past, is always a great educator for the present and the future. So we went back in time and we thought, let's look at the dinosaurs. And you probably remember a dinosaur known as the Tyrannosaurus Rex, very famous from the Jurassic Park film. And if you do remember, you, you weren't, if you moved, the T-Rex would see you. But if you didn't move, it wouldn't be able to see you. So we now believe that if you just stay really still and don't look at the invisible enemy, it will just go away. It will leave you alone. So it'll be flying through the air and it will get to you and just go whoop and it will pass you by as if you weren't even there. So what we're asking people to do is stand really still and don't look at it in the eye. In fact, you're all looking at me right now. Everybody close your eyes and do a little bit of an experiment. Questions? Can I open my eyes? Yes, you can open your eyes down, but from, just from tomorrow, close your eyes. Okay, this is the, this is the last press conference we'll do this week. And but it's fine because we won't need to do another one because we have figured it out. Eat 42.3 berries a day. Very, very clear. 42.3 berries away is enough for your immune system to deal 
with the issue. But please do not eat 42.4 berries a day because you will be in a lot of trouble. You will be in a lot of trouble. 42.3 berries a day. I'm sure you all know what 0.3 of a berry is. We're all adults here. And if you have children, you can cut your berries up so they have that amount. Right, okay. Thank you very much. I will take one question today. Please, sir, ask your question. Uh, yeah, not really a question. I just want to say you are mad. Slub you.